So today we're going to talk about all these antennas. Now what's interesting is this is the 1890s Los Angeles, right? And look at all those antennas. You think they were gathering lightning? It doesn't make any sense because then the whole place would burn down. But they're all over the place. Now what's interesting is you see this design all over the world and even Harvard is asking what is in these and what do they do? Could they be brass balls with mercury in them? Then we look at some other designs and we see that there's usually an antenna on top with some mercury below it, some copper, granite and quartz, and these were actually energy generators. Sounds almost like they were getting free energy. Maybe that's why they also removed all the pipe organs as well. And if we take it a step further, we can see this one, same thing, antenna at the top, mercury cell below, harmonizer, frequency, and energy storage. Almost like one big battery that's gathering energy the entire time and then providing everybody with free electricity. Then if we take it one step further and we look at mercury right here, and you put it in front of a voltmeter, and you begin to spin it, you create voltage. It's almost like those were brass balls filled with mercury that would somehow cause a spin, which would result in electric. Now if you take copper and do the exact same thing, you don't get any voltage but the mercury, you get voltage. Something to think about.